What I'm very curious about is always what I don't know. It's, it's, it's really key for me to learn new things all the time, and this is a field where I can do that. I really came to, to Art Center, you know, I often say fresh off the boat from Europe. Um, you know, the, the, the culture of business, the culture of technology, um, you know, the culture of design even, is not something that, that I grew up with simply. Um, I, I grew up in more of a sort of traditional environment, but it was a traditional environment that had a lot of kind of patterns and sculptural elements and storytelling um, to, you know, the furniture and the carpets around. I had this other interest which was to build things, to build new types of products, to build new types of uh, designs and um, I realized that I could combine these two interests. I only f started to feel at home, I only started to feel I like I was in a, in a place that understood me um, when I entered the design world. One of the challenges was to find my own voice. And I think when you, when you come to design with, you know, with a personal mindset, with, um, with, a, with a personal view, that uh, people listen to you actually even more. The one thing that bothers me always is when people say, you know, oh wow, he's really talented. You know, this person is really talented. I really don't know what that means. I, you know, I don't think I had any natural talent for design when I started, but I did get better along the way. I did get better by continually um, exercising, you know, that skill, for example. Um, and so talent, you know, it's just, it's just, um, you know, you intend to do the work. Being a maker, you know, building things uh, early on shaped my identity all the way to now. I don't think. Um, I don't think I could live without it.